March means it's sugar time, a steamy sign of spring. At Stuart and John's Sugar House Restaurant in Westmoreland, it's all about the maple syrup. been a pancake house for 45 years. Um, when we started the business, it was all about promoting the boys' syrup. Um, anything that you could put syrup on, that's what we had. Pancakes, French toast, waffles, uh, corn fritters. The boys are Stuart Adams and John Matthews. They began producing maple syrup before they could even drive a car. We call them the boys, but the boys. they worked out. They loved being outside. They loved being in the woods. Uh, they would work from sun up to sundown and beyond. What started as a hobby for two childhood pals turned into a longtime family business. Stuart was in the eighth grade, John a sophomore in high school. When they decided they were feeling kind of bored, why not start a sugaring operation? They began with 930 taps and that first season produced about 200 gallons of maple syrup. We were helping some neighbors out. We were still in grade school, and we kind of figured we, if we did it on our own, it might be a little more profitable for us than just helping the neighbors. Did you think you'd still be doing it all these years later? No, not really, but we, we hung in there. Stuart and John now have 10,000 taps and produce 2,500 gallons of syrup a year. is in charge of the boiling and filtering process. So it's a little heavy right now, so we're gonna just thin it down just a little bit. To... While John is known as the woods guy, preferring to tap the trees and collect the sap, which is far more evolved these days, no tin buckets attached to the trees, Stuart and John use state-of-the-art equipment to create their sweet concoction. Their syrup is organic, no pesticides. These blue lines or tubing ties the trees together. The vacuum system pulls the sap out of the trees. And into these large stainless steel storage tanks. All these trees here, there's like four or five hundred taps coming right to here that are all on vacuum. The sap is then delivered to the sugar house and offloaded from the truck. Sap pours into these large stainless steel tanks. And is pumped into this machine. This is the reverse osmosis process. This machine pulls the water from the sap. So one thing about reverse osmosis, this is pure distilled water coming out, which you can see how much cleaner it is. And the concentrated sap, all the bacteria, all the minerals that were in the sap stay with the sap. The sap gushes through these copper pipes attached to the ceiling. Through the thick haze of the smoke comes the aroma, a blend of sweet maple and wood. I use the hydrometer to set the temperature because if the barometric pressure is, is high or low that day it affects you know our syrup density. At about 220 degrees the sap is boiled in an oil fired evaporator. The finished product has a sugar content of 67 percent. It's then filtered. Once it's determined to follow state standards it's ready to be placed into these large stainless steel drums until it's bottled. None of the grades are, are different sugar density. They're all 67% sugar. It's just that what you start with is weaker in sugar, so by boiling longer, you get the darker color and more flavor. Stuart and John have several flavors of organic maple syrup, golden, amber, dark, and very dark. Stuart's parents, who own nearby Windyhurst Farm, opened the restaurant in 1975 
because the boys needed to put their sir production to good use. What better way than to open a pancake and waffle house? I was the cook. I cooked and ran this place for probably 15 years, at least 15 years. It's all about family here. Stewart's wife, Robin, now runs the restaurant. Relatives and close friends cook and wait tables. Cook Sue Ferenz was hired two days after she moved here from New York. 22 years later, I'm still here, and my children have grown up. One worked on the farm, she milked cows, and another one worked here, and then my littlest, she was five, and she is still here doing, she's one of the main waitresses. The restaurant now offers seafood and ice cream during the summer, and every Thursday is known as cruise night. People come, they see the antique cars, they go down to the baby barn and see all the baby animals. We have a big play area for kids. It's great for families, doesn't cost them anything. Uh, if you want to eat dinner, we obviously have tons of seafood and steak and cheese and burgers. But the main attraction will always be Stuart and John's sweet organic syrup. They have perfected the recipe over the years, but no one really recalls what that first batch tasted like. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Did it taste a little woodsy? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, don't rem I don't really remember. It was pretty dark syrup, and Ellie, Ellie had to make some really good pancakes, so it's mother to get rid of that first few runs we had. <laughs> but they didn't hold it against us. Now people come from throughout the region to see how maple syrup is made, pick up a pint or two, and sit down to a hearty breakfast, all made possible by the boys and their enterprising spirit.